Besides his part in building this rocket, Dr. Cardinal Ward's activities outside the classroom included chemical reactive explosions in his home lab. It was a chemistry and physics lab that we built in my father's abandoned carpenter shop. We just basically put his tools under the, under the tables and benches and we took the shelves and reorganized them and put chemicals on the shelf. Every bottle was labeled. And we had a lot of safety rules. We, we weren't doing stupid things that, you know, would cause us to get into trouble. I always really wanted to know how things work. And so I was famous for taking apart things and trying to put them back together. A brilliant student, Dr. Cardinal Ward entered secondary school at the age of nine. In 1965, he left Barbados to attend Stevens Institute of Technology in the United States followed by Yale University where he acquired both his master's degree and PhD. Currently he is a physics professor at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Uh, I teach courses in electronics, uh, circuits, optics, materials, optical materials, electronic materials, signal processing. Holder of over 12 patents, Dr. Ward specializes in optoelectronics, a branch of electronics that deals with electronic devices and systems for emitting, modulating and transmitting light. My current research area is in the area of optical computing where we're trying to build a core processor for a computer which will do brain-like processing. In other words, uh, the brain is good at interpolation, extrapolation, and guessing. The electronic computers don't know how to guess very well. And lots of times you don't need an exact answer. You need an intelligent guess to proceed. So my work involves uh, studies of how the brain works, although we don't really understand how it works, but we have simple models. I'm trying to copy how the brain works into electronic and optical hardware. This internationally renowned innovator is one of the world's leading experts on materials devices and systems for optical information processing. Oftentimes, especially for military acquisition, one wants to determine man-made objects from natural objects. So as discriminants, we would use uh, things like uh, shape, these, how light gets scattered from these objects. Uh, then light scatters off a smooth surface. It tends to scatter with in a polarized fashion where, where you know we put polarizers on during the day to cut glare down. So we use these properties of light scattered from the objects, primarily the polarization properties and the shape properties to distinguish between man-made objects and natural objects. Among his current work is a project in collaboration with NASA and his very own unique display glasses. Dr. Cardinal Ward is also involved in fostering an interest in science and technology among the young. He is involved in community and educational projects both in the United States and his native Barbados, where he also functions as an advisor to the Ministry of Education. To be a scientist, you've got to communicate at some point your results to other people. If you're in a job, you've got to be able to talk to your, your bosses, you've got to explain what you did to your boss, you've got to communicate with your customers. And so science does not exist in a vacuum. So the combination of uh, being good in communication skills, whether it's writing or oral expression, along with uh, the fundamentals of math can take you a, a long way.